It's brought to you by UC Davis Children's Hospital. Good evening, everybody. Alongside MLS veteran Kevin Goldthwaite, I'm Rob McAllister. Atlas FC making their second consecutive trip to the capital of California in as many seasons. But it was a season ago that Sacramento struck first. Max Alvarez in the 40th minute. It looked good heading into the break, but in the 80th and 84th minute, Atlas FC coming back strong, and they would pick up the win here on the road. For tonight, let's look at some of these younger players, Kevin Goldthwaite, as you take some time that they've not getting a lot of minutes here. Here's a chance for some of these young players to stand out. A great opportunity for young guys to come in and play, and you're playing against a club like Atlas. Great, great history, great tradition. I think it's going to be a wide open game with a lot of action and a good opportunity for these young guys to come in and make a case for that starting 11 spot, Rob. Sacramento making some headlines as uh, all around the country, teams have been hosting a lot of these international friendlies, but none more here than right in Sacramento as you have a great schedule coming up along the way. Sunderland, Newcastle, these are great clubs. Yeah, those games stand out right now in my in my mind, Rob. Great, great clubs playing in one of the best leagues in the world here in Sacramento competing with our club, the Republics. It's going to be fantastic to see how these guys can stack up against these clubs from that great league. Headlines not only captured by the friendlies, but also in the news today, Coach Precky, his future here at the club. We'll talk about that next. All also, your starting 11 after the break. The lives we touch inspire us. One team, one choice. One UC Davis. Guys, I got the jerseys. Oh, yeah. El Nino. Aquí. Spray Dan. Oh, yeah. Don Ovan. I think that's me. You guy. It's 40 bucks. Can you cover that? I'll send it to you right now. Done. Okay, got it. So, Hattrick Rick, he's the best player on our team. You get the ball, you give it to him. Great. Rick. On your phone, online, on the go. Wells Fargo makes it easy to get banking done. All right, Don, you're on. Nope, just kidding. Indomitable. Like the trees that surround us, our roots run deep, our foundation strong. This is a game played to the sound of chants, to the sound of anthems. This game is played to the sound of glory. We are Sacramento. Indomitable we stand. For the Republic we stand. Morning, folks. Welcome to Jiffy Lube. Hi. How can we help you today? I think I'm due for an oil change. Great. Well, why don't you come with me and we'll get you all set up. All right. Thank you. And would you folks care for any bottled water or coffee while you wait? Sure. Sounds good. Cool. Okay. Great. We've actually got a special promotion going on right now. If you take a shot on goal and you make it, you could actually win three oil changes for life. How does that all sound? All right. Let's do it. Head on in and we'll get you all scored away. All right, we're ready for you. And here she comes. She has a chance to win oil changes for life from Jiffy Loop. Mexicanos a grito de tierra, el acero prestar del grito. Iré tiemble en su centro la tierra, al sonoro rugir de y de tiemble en su centro la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Jeff Cook in his rendition of the national anthem of the United States of America. dawn's early light what so proudly we hang at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er oh, the rampart 
that we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rock is red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Bonnie Field alongside Kevin Goldthwait. I'm Rob McAllister. Tonight, a beautiful evening in the capital city and a friendly between Atlas FC and the Sacramento Republic. Big news across the country and even across the pond today. Coach Precky announcing that he is stepping down as the head coach of the Sacramento Republic, a coach that has been so integral in getting this team to where it is today, a championship a season ago, but a year and a half in. And Kevin, Coach Precky is saying goodbye. Yeah, great opportunity that he has, and I think it's one of the most uh, amicable separations I've seen in a long time in terms of head coaching and front office and, and general manager position. So it's been it's great for, for, for Precky. It's a great opportunity, but you know what? The club's got to move on and find his next find the next step, and we'll see how that progresses over the next month or so. And Paul Buckle will take Precky's spot. So Precky will lead this team here tonight and will also be uh, on hand for the game against Los Angeles on Saturday. Let's get your starting 11 real quick for you as you look at Atlas FC. Alan Lopez in the goal box is back for Pablo Macarenas, Rodrigo Godinez, Walter Kenneman, Ivan Pineda, and in the midfield, Luis Fernando Tellis, Juan Diaz Hernandez, Juan Vigon, Rodolfo Salinas, Luis Neri Caballero, and Martin Baragon all your two forwards. For the Sacramento Republic, Dominic Jakubek getting his third start of the season. He's in the goal box for Sacramento along in the back four will be Mateus Bonvehi, Mickey Daly, Alfonso Matagalvin, Augustin Caceres in the midfield. Number 11, Max Alvarez, Deb Taubley, Gabe Gonzalez, and Gabe Gissy. And up top, Tommy Stewart, Cameron Awasa. Here's a combination I know you and I both really like. Tommy Stewart makes great runs. Cameron Awasa, we've Given that term, almost a bulldog. Knows he really had to turn that corner. Should be exciting duo. Now, Tommy Stewart does a really good job of stretching the field. And I think that's going to be a really, really big part of this match here tonight is to stretch the field early, get this thing opened up as much as possible, and, and, and allow Republic to get their foot on the ball and really kind of put the, the, the pedal to the metal, so to speak, and attack. And well, for number 10, Tommy Stewart, four goals on this season, is making his seventh start overall. Had a hat trick in U.S. Open Cup play. And Coming back from foot surgery, it's been nice to see number 10 back out on the pitch tonight. Well, Sacramento wearing uh, really the gold and white uniforms they typically use for friendlies in this situation and the black and red Atlas from Guadalajara, Mexican Premier League, a team that was flirting with some relegation issues a few years ago. They've really started to come back, play a lot better, finished fourth in the Clasura, eight, four, and five in 17 games there. A little bit different situation. We'll talk about that and how that league works. They play two different tournament type seasons. So very unfamiliar what we're typically used to in the EPL, which is really all the way from fall until spring in here in the United States where we play during the summer. Dominic Jakubek firing up the Tower Bridge Battalion for this Wednesday night as the Lodi native getting the start here this evening. And Dominic Jakubek so good. As a reserve a season ago, as Jake Gleason was hampered with injuries throughout the year, he's getting a chance here tonight. And we are underway as Joseph Dickerson blows the whistle, and Sacramento will begin with the possession. Zev Taubleib, also a very good player, has filled in nicely when asked to this season. And I know Kevin, the first goal that we saw him score, what an exciting player. Just a lot of enthusiasm, a guy you love to have out on the pitch. Yeah, a great energy, a good guy working hard for his club, always doing the dirty work. Come in, 
kind of unsung coming in. He's done a really good job filling in in that holding midfielder role. Good move from Gabe Gissy. Tommy Stewart settles it down on the left wing. Augustine Caceres sending her cross in is quickly blocked. And it stays in play. So Augustine Caceres, your left back here this evening. Alfonso Montegalva in the center back position. So Mickey Daly playing with three different fullbacks. And here's your nice move by the youngster, the 18-year-old Gabe Kissy gets near the byline. It's set out of play. And Sacramento might pick up a goal here. Good opening minute for the Republic on their front foot, really kind of dictating the pace, getting themselves involved in the attack. Gissy showing his pace right here. Probably want to see Alan Lopez come out and, snick, and, and, and pick this ball up, but he's a little bit late. And looks like Godinez is there to clear the thing out for a corner kick, and Alvarez is on this one. Good first, opportunity here for Republic. First Cooney corner kick, sent one in, a little outswinger, punched away by the goalkeeper, Alan Lopez. Sacramento still a chance for possession. Both players meeting at the same time, and they'll pick up the foul. Not a bad foul there by Zev. Needs to go down to the ground there and make a tackle. Does a good job. Maybe holds on. And be gone. To Salinas a little bit in that situation. Draws a foul. Allows Republic to get, to get themselves back behind the balls. Good foul there by Zev. So Vigon gets it going. Back to the goalkeeper, Lopez. Here we are. Atlas FC. Sacramento Republic here tonight in Sacramento. Cool evening. Much different than about 100, I think, 10 we had here. And I know I was just about melting for the first 20 minutes. And I think a lot of the fans were as well. So much different weather here tonight state fair getting going so you'll see shots of that midway being built behind us the construction workers still hard at work trying to get the fair up and running and beautiful shots at night once those lights all get turned on zip top lead a little bit of trouble picks the pocket on the run here's caballero caballero takes a shot on goal and a right save by dominic jacobek yeah, Zeb needs to do better there. He's got to have better awareness. Djokovic's probably telling him, no worries. Just short memory there by Zeb. He should be okay. But right there, I think Caballero shows his class. When given that chance, strikes the ball well. Dominic goes down well to his right, parries it away for a corner kick. But that's what you like to see with Atlas when they turn, when they win the ball, quickly going in attacking, getting the strike on target, testing Djokovic early, but a good save there. Here, here will be a corner from Juan Vigon. Ball set in low. Yeah, poor Stepped corner up by there. Thomas. Poor corner needs to clear that first man. Republic do a good job stepping out. Ball still in play, working into the penalty area. Header quickly, another shot. This one's dribbled slowly. Caballero again. A good combination play up top. Barragon and Caballero trying to connect and get themselves on target. Get something on target. Caballero, 23 appearances for Atlas, three goals in 2014. Also play the Paraguay national team and FIFA World Cup team. Players got some pretty good pedigree, just 25 years of age. Really coming to his stride in the Liga MX. Here's Gabe Gissy. Gissy scoring his first goal here at Botting Field. An exciting moment for the youngster, and it was the game winner. Up comes Strong. Making the play, Max Alvarez. The right back, here comes the counter. Working it. Better go. And goes down in the box. The state try to get quickly back up on his feet. And he'll go the other way. Mickey Daly there. And uh, Baragon was looking for a foul to be called. Won't get it. Yeah, good tackle there by Mickey Daly. Being patient enough to get a good look right now. Too many gaps in back early, though, Rob. Good tackle, good step. Uses his shoulder. Handball there by Baragon. Bit of wind to deal with here, Rob, and I think Djokovic's trying to figure it out. Do we play out of the back or do we look to strike something and clear our line? And it looks like he's trying to figure out in between two lines on what to do at this point. So uh, ho hopefully the wind either dies down or, or, or sometimes towards the end of the night, these, this delta breeze dies down a little bit. But we're, in, we're going into it right now, which is something that we're going to have to figure out here Headed as the, we're electing to play short here. Headed to the north end of the field here. And Djokovic... Got to watch his back four tonight as they are being heavily pressured by the two strikers. Misplayed by Alvarez, but he'll pick up the foul call. And that's going to go against Walter Canavan from Argentina. Yeah, back four tonight, it'll be interesting. We just talked about gaps and spacing and not letting things get behind your back four. With Moda Galvin and Daly not necessarily playing together a lot. Who's going to step? Who's going to be communicating? Who's going to be covering? So pay attention for that tonight to see how well those guys can work together. That little partnership as the center backs tonight. 
And that little Alfonso just his second start of the season. He's only played 174 minutes coming into this match. So not a lot of time on the pitch at all. Good play here by Bonvehi. Bonvehi is another player who played very well, I thought, in the U.S. Open Cup. Made a lot of good plays, made decent runs, and he's earned the start here tonight at the right back position. Yeah, good opportunity to get any, again here tonight. And you know what's really kind of interesting now, Rob, is as Preki's stepping down, and we got Paul Buckle coming in. I think a lot of guys, the guys like Bonvehi, guys like Moda, Moda Galvan, who can't really see, haven't seen too much of the pitch all year. It's like a fresh start for these guys now. And if I'm them, I'd be super excited and really motivated to go out, clean slate, and start showing this new guy, Buckle, what I'm all about. Because it's going to be a, a new a, a new decision maker, new decision process. And I remember when I was playing, whenever we get new coaches in, and, I, and if I wasn't a part of that first starting 11, it was always a very exciting moment for me to think, well, wow, I got a chance now. I'm going to come out and really perform for this guy as it's going to be pretty much a, a, an open go here for my position. Do some guys then almost play out of themselves, try to do too much at times? Well, potentially. And then you got guys that have been really comfortable with Preki. A guy like Roro, for example, is really, really comfortable with, this, with, with the way Preki coaches and with the system that we play. Who knows what sort of uh, confidence he's going to have with Paul Buckle. I think Preki, or excuse me, I think Roro's a, a veteran enough player and has played in enough games that he'll be fine. But some of those guys in those roles who have really been kind of been given carte blanche you got the position, it's yours. Clemente's a good example. Clemente even said, I saw some comments today. We talked to him today how Preki was the one who really gave him the chance and really kind of flourished under him. So I think there might be some interesting personality traits seen over the next uh, six to eight weeks with these guys. There's some angst, I think, from some of these players because they feel like Preki did give him a chance when a lot of guys wouldn't, and they're putting him in positions to succeed. I mean, here you look at Emeril Clemente, a guy who played indoor, really was a forward, a midfielder. I mean, you push him back to the defensive line. He says, trust me, and Preki's system worked out pretty well. We'll talk more about Paul Buckle along the way, and they were to talk with him at halftime during the match against Los Angeles Galaxy 2 on Saturday. That'll be on CBS 13 at 8 o'clock. And so we'll get a little better idea of what he's thinking about this club. And, I mean, for Paul Buckle, what a great situation to come in as a coach. And here's an open play for Tommy Stewart. Up front is Cameron Awasa. He's got Awasa to his left, trying to poke one through. Stays it outside, just the penalty area. Cameron Awasa will set it back up, and out goes Augustine Caceres. But a good chance for a coach to come in with a club that's really starting to play well. I mean, they haven't lost in five matches now in USL play. Coughs it up there, is poking his counterman. But... What a great chance for a coach to say, you know what, I can just kind of continue to do what they're already doing well and, and continue that and hopefully repeat as champions. Yeah, it's a great opportunity for a guy like Paul Buckle to come into the States, get this job here in Sacramento. A lot of good things happening here. Probably a, a position where you think in the next few years, hopefully it's going to be at the MLS level and hopefully you do well enough to get that nod as we see Barragon go down there with the pretty hard foul from behind. I think Moda Galvin got him a little bit. Good foul there. Get yourself behind the ball. You know, another thing I want to touch on here real quick, Rob, is, is a, a club like Atlas, very technical, very quick. I don't want to see these guys chasing today. This is a type of situ a, a system where I think the best way to defend on their giveaway here is Caballero off to the left side. Hernandez. Hernandez getting dangerously close. Sends a low cross in. Caballero keeps it down on the deck. Another shot on goal. Another chance. A second. A third. And Hernandez still with a low cross down to his knees goes Jakubek and Gabe Gissy now down the turf and Republic somehow survive a scare and now they're pushing the other way with Max Alvarez off to the right side here's Tommy Stewart Stewart Gabe Gissy beautiful ball in he'll work his way into the penalty area trying to cross him up Atlas is able to thwart the attack and Caballero about a gun now back up top again for Atlas FC. I think you, that's a good example right there. You see the difference in class right there with Atlas moving forward, really getting a good good crack, a couple cracks on goal there on their counterattack. Republic come down and can't get anything out of it. You want to see Awasa and Tommy Stu be a little bit more uh, sharp and crisp up there when we do have the ball, but a good effort, a good counterattack. I love to see Alvarez. Here's one more look at it, Kevin. A couple of chances for Atlas FC. A couple of chances here. See better communication there between Daly and Jakovic. Could have snuffed that problem out right there. As Jakovic gets down to his left right there, again, and the ball is cleared. All the way come up, Salinas. But a really good counterattack by the Republic. You know, weathering that storm, weathering that storm. Alvarez gets on the ball and presses really well. Gets out and goes at pace with the defenders is what you want to see on those counterattacks. 
but it's also real interesting. Pay attention to the counterattack. Whenever the Republic turn the ball over, how well Atlas can transition and get themselves forward and combine and work to find something, uh, something on target or the ball swung out wide for a service into the box. And here's Jakubek, who's given up five goals on the season, but unfair or not to, he's working with a back four that's not typically used to working together. That's an unfortunate role of a backup goalie. Hooked in. Here's another chance on goal and saved. Baragon with a shot, and Jakubek was right there, played it perfectly. That's the fourth shot on goal for the Atlas FC tonight. Yeah, good effort there. Good effort on target by Baragon there, but you know what? Jakubek positioned very well as we spread the ball out wide. Salinas outside white to Vigon. Vigon with a nice serve in. Decent ball in the box, and Baragon finds it a little bit behind him, does a really good job to direct that thing on target. Jakubek positions himself well, but pay attention here to uh, Jakubek's distribution here into the wind. I think he's still struggling with it, turning the ball over a little bit too much for my liking when the ball's at his feet on the ground. And you're just looking at Atlas FC, the athleticism between his team. They're, they're quick, they're crisp. I think Sacramento's going to try to have to match that tonight, and they can't make mistakes like that, especially from a guy like Max Alvarez. Yeah, I mean, that's just a good effort, to, uh, opportunity to go forward. Maybe take another touch or two. Let the defenders kind of either step or commit. But that's fine. You know, I think it's still positive, good mo good movement going forward. Gabe Gissy trying to skirt one through, keeps it down low. And the whistle blows. Foul's given. So foul is gone. And here's Donna Jakubek is coming out talking to Moda Galvin as well. And there's definitely a communication that Dom wants to try to get handled early here. And, you know, that's the strength of a guy like Dom coming in. It's a tough, tough role, a tough task to be called in, playing these friendly games where you don't have the back four, that you, you, you know, your, your first choice back four, and guys who haven't necessarily played together quite a bit in matches, played together in training all the time, but it's different in matches, so it's a tough task for a guy like Dom to come in here and really try to keep a clean sheet because there's just always a lot of gaps and a lot of confusion sometimes in the first 30 minutes of these games. Here's the left-footed Max Alvarez from Napa, California. Sac State grad. Keep an eye on Gonzalez here. Gabe Gonzalez moving forward as is Tommy Stewart with a flick and he got the goal! A beautiful serve in and Tommy Stewart has got his fifth goal of the season in Sacramento up top one and nothing. A great ball in by Alvarez. Tommy Stewart, a little cheeky near post run. Gets his head on it and just directs it down into that near post. Great run, great set piece. It's amazing how well Sacramento time and time again are successful in these set pieces as we see Alvarez Strikes a good ball into the wind. A little bit more curl on that than normal. Tommy Stu finds himself in the right spot and, and does a really good job directing. Great look there at that finish. Alan Lopez has no chance there. Great redirection on that header. Shows you don't need to hit that thing with pace. Just kind of redirect it. Take the pace from the service and direct that thing in the corner. Great effort there by Tommy Stu. Great to see Tommy Stu get on the score sheet. It's something that we've been wanting to see. And I tell you what, whenever he gets in, Rob, he's usually creating chances and getting himself involved in that, onto that score sheet. Biden as well as Vigon here. And Tommy Stewart just seems to be in the right place, right time. High cross here. Dominic Jakubek will scoop it out of the sky. And that's the one thing we, we like about Tommy Stewart is that if he's not on the ball he's trying to get into a place where he can get the ball and that's one thing a lot of players try to do but he makes it look very easy and right there perfect position great serve from max alvarez and he's a guy who's really level-headed too you don't see his emotions you know hot no no real highs and lows with him and i think that goes to show is uh the veteran savviness of him we get a good look right now as the ball served in from from alvarez good curl on the thing tommy stew times his run perfectly and that position, Kev, is a goalkeeper. That's tough to read where you're going to likely see it go. Well, and, and really, as a goalkeeper, you can't commit one way or the other. you got to wait and react. And if you do that, you're almost dead in the water, too. So it's like, darned if you do. Good save there by Jock, Jock, like, Darned if you do, darned if you don't. Because if you come out and think that the ball's going to go through and miss Tommy Stu, you could probably, you know, collect the ball easily. But if Tommy Stu uh, does what he does there and just puts it on the target, it's going to be a guaranteed goal. So it's one of those deadly balls that the goalkeeper kind of get put, gets put in no man's land. And that comes from the set piece. The set piece really dictates where the goalkeeper is going to be going. And that's textbook for what we want to see with Tommy Stu making that near post run. Mateus with the shot on goal for Atlas. Not able to score the black and red. On a friendly here between the Republic 
They drew with Club Leon in San Jose on the fifth, two to two. As they continue their run here in North America. Good chance here, about a gun. Zeb needs to do better there, keep the ball. Back inside the middle of the pitch, come up strong, Gabe Gonzalez. Gabe's got a lot of size, strength, that'll play well here tonight. Cameron Owasa just a tad late. Good tackle there by Coquinez. Pushing forward, here's Atlas attack. They continue to put the pressure on. They've owned the possession number. Out to the west side, here comes Hernandez. 1v1 versus Bonvehi and picks up a foul outside the box. And it looks like he just tripped over the leg of Mateus, but yeah, it's bon good call needs up. to be a little bit more patient there. Tries to get the position in front of Teus, or excuse me, Hernandez. Isn't able to do so and concedes the foul here in a pretty dangerous area. As we get another look here, just move your feet, work your feet, work your feet. Maybe a little bit too much contact there. Hernandez goes down softly, but you know, in that position, you're pretty much taught and asked to do so. Pretty close to being in the box too, Rob, by the way. Here's a chance for Atlas. Sacramento scoring a set piece in the 13th minute. Team from Guadalajara, Mexico looking to answer back. Ball sent in low, somehow squirts through, but Dominic Chakabek oh, down does. to the turf again and another big save. Yeah, Dunn does a really good job. That ball's going through a lot of traffic. Tommy Stu misses his, 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 his pretty much his job in that situation. He sit on that, sat on that front post to block that particular ball right there. Looks to swing and miss. Makes it really difficult for Dom, but Dom does a good job. Expects for the worst, plans for the worst. Is in the right position, is able to collect the ball. Little attack here by the Republic comes up and uh, for colliding. Gabe Gissy wins the ball for Mascarenas. Pablo that right back. He's going to have a assignment tonight with Gabe Gissy, who is a fleet footed youngster, 18 years of age for the Republic. A lot of time left to mature that play. A little tap and go looking for Max Alvarez. Alvarez has to go back to chase it, looking for Tommy Stewart again. Ricochets off the shoulder. And pushed the other way. Here comes the counter from the Atlas FC. Their spacing has been very good. When you watch this club, they've been able to build some of these triangles, Kevin. That's what makes them so good. They have plenty of options, making it difficult for those back four to decide who's going to be where as Max Alvarez picks up the foul. But their spacing has been very good. Right. And it's been a, a, something that I think they've been working on quite a bit. You can see it's been successful tonight as well. Get a good look right here. Tommy Stu, the swing and a miss. Here back to live action. Cameron Awasa down in the box. No whistle blown as Lopez comes out to make the save. Just a tad late. Good work there by the Republic. Good build up on it too. Kami Awasa comes down. Caballero tried to squeak it up. Dangerous little player there with, with Kami Awasa going down with Lopez as well. But that's what I like to see about Cam. That guy, no quit in that guy whatsoever. Keeps the ball alive. Unfortunate, no one there to collect the ball as uh, Atlas is able to spring a counterattack going forward again. Be going off to the right side. Here's Tellis. Serves the ball on the left foot, looking for it appears to be Hernandez. And excuse me, that will be Salinas. Here is Hernandez. And Hernandez has it blocked by Von Vehi. And will pick up a throw in here. And we'll quickly get it in. Alice is doing a good job of exposing gaps. Pineda to Vigon. Vigon draws the foul. A couple of times tonight, we've seen the midfielder pick up a foul and a good another set piece, a good spot for them. And they're going with the win, which can make things, as you say, a little bit tricky. Now it's died down from what we had the start of the match here, but we encroach on the 20th minute. Now this is another good opportunity. A right footer, in swinger coming in. He's going to want to put this thing have it bounce on the six yard box and go in the back post, the far post. That's kind of the, the, the line he's going to be taking here. And we talked about it on, on the Republic's goal. It's going to make Jakubek commit. And if you got good runs crashing the box, Dom's going to have to react. And it makes it pretty easy if this ball's put in the right spot for someone to finish this thing. Here's Vigon. Curls it in. Got it. You have to miss that first guy. It's just unbelievable how these guys, that's twice that they're, they're missing the first man. You see the Republic time and time again. Rarely do they miss that, that first guy, Rob. And I think it's just 
uh, shows maybe what they work on a lot in training, but a, a club like Atlas needs to miss that first man. It's kind of inexcus inexcusable in my book if I'm on the pitch for our guy taking the set piece to hit that first man as we see once again some interesting decision here by Jakovec trying to play out of the back in a dangerous situation for Zev and Zev does a good job to keep the ball at least because he's got two guys, two Atlas players crashing. Here's a ball through. Here's the line, Hernandez. Hernandez, a little sweep and a sweeping play comes all the way. Monik Alvin nearly threw it right in the back of the net from this angle, but a good job to come and make sure that didn't find that far post. Moda Galvin doing a good job covering the back post, but Von Vahey's just caught way out of position. Actually, that looked a lot closer. Moda Galvin's not there. That's falling right into the net. We're tied at one. Yeah, Von Vahey out of position, playing a little too high, probably going wide if we're really going to uh, keep score on that one. But good job by Moto Galvin to, to cover that back post as Dom commits himself fully. And that's exactly what you ask your center back to do in that situation, fall back and try to cover that far post. Veneta with the throw on, gets it back. Daly with a little bit of a shove. Alice FC trying to remain on the attack. Nifty move for Max Alvarez, gets it up to head. To a running Tommy Stewart, streaking the left side. Here's Gabe Gissy. Got Augustine Cazares. Good counter by Sacramento. Back up top, Tommy Stewart. Things have settled down here. Just outside. Tries to send a high cross in, looking for Cameron Awasa. Republic retaining possession here. Good job keeping that, winning that second ball, retaining possession, keeping it in this third. Sacramento out there. It's Caceres, Daly, Jakobek, Matagalvin, Bonvei, Gissi, Gonzalez, Telvliv, Alvarez, Stewart, and Awasa. Gabe Gissy, beautiful oh. ball by the 18-year-old. Augustine Caceres, Caceres making a move, looking for Tommy Stewart, just a little too far up ahead of him, and Lopez able to snatch it up. Great ball there by, by Gissy, seeing Caceres streaking on the overlap. You'd like to see Caceres maybe take a touch or two and serve the ball in the box. I think there's some decent runs. Decides to cut back on his right foot and try to find that delayed run by Tommy Stewart, just a little bit too heavy. But you'd like to see your outside back just take a couple touches and whip the thing in the box. That way your forwards are going to get used to making that those runs and, and really learn to crash the net when when a guy like Caceres is in that situation. And just watching tonight, Mickey Daly seems to be playing a lot higher than we typically see him. Is he just being asked to maybe cover more ground tonight than he typically is? Yeah, maybe he just feels the, the need to cover a little bit more ground. There's no real need to, to be honest. You have your typical formation. They're not doing anything crazy. Atlas is not doing anything crazy in terms of formation. So Here maybe it's just what the, the game's dictated so far. And we have Daly adjusting to it. Here's Bonvey with a nice run. Got Cameron Wassa. Take it over. Across there. Still alive for Cameron Wassa. Defensively, Kinnaman coming back strong as the Argentine player makes a good defensive stop. Easily could be two to nothing. Good run there. Great ball by Daly over the top. You have both Bonvehi. And Iwasa streaking out there, and the ball to Iwasa just a little bit too heavy from Bonvehi, but a good idea, good look. It's not too late to secure your single match tickets for Republic FC. Buy your tickets online, Ticketmaster, or call 916-307-6100 to reserve discounted tickets for your group as well. LA, I think, is sold out. I think Newcastle's up at Sunderland. EPL team, great chance to see a team that just escaped relegation in the EPL. Good ball served over the top. They're going to stay onside. One-on-one. -on -one. Mona Galvin's going to come back. A left-footed strike, and it finds the net. So Atlas FC has tied this one up, and a goal for Luis Fernando Teos. And from Leon, Mexico, the 23-year-old has tied this one at one apiece. Yeah, Teos, great run. A little delayed run. Caceres is, isn't really catching. He's got his arm up looking for offsides. Moto Galvin's got to do better. Got to push him out wide in that situation. You see him just overcommit. Moto Galvin does here. Force him outside. Force him outside. You can't let him come back and get an open look there on Jakobek. And Jakobek, you see him right now. He's yelling at Moto Galvin. Force him outside. Make it difficult. You can't let him come back in. And as a defender, Rob, it's not that difficult of a task. Just show him wide. Essentially try to cover the back post and let him go. Let him shoot. Or have a free shot to the near, near post. And if Jakobek can't save that, then it's on Jakobek. You got to do your task and, and in your job in that situation. And I think Moda Galvin just overcommits there and tries to do too much. There's a counter from the Republic. Left it behind. And fitness too, Kevin. Here's a chance. Good job, Zev Tablieb. Zev breaking that up, winning that, being a little pit bull. Bonvehi 
Pushed to the ground, gets back up, and they're going to give it to Atlas FC. For a guy who's not had a lot of minutes, is Mata Galvin. Fitness coming to a factor here. Is it a little bit late to try to get back to the ball? You know, not 25 minutes in, Rob. I can understand if we're in the 80, 85th minute as Daly tries, just, just misjudges that. It's got to be a little better there, too. Here's Hernandez looking to send a cross in. Has a chance coming back. Right Salinas. side, Salinas. Salinas will send it high. You know, Moda Galvin, not a center back by trade. Played with Pittsburgh a season ago. Back again, Hernandez. But still, that's just that's just soccer. It's just soccer IQ. You need to do better defending there. Gabe gets the run. So we're tied at one. Tommy Stewart with a goal from assist from Max Alvarez. And Teus with the equalizer. Max Alvarez so good on set pieces where he's fallen a bit short so far this season. It's really out in the open field. Trying to get his way back here on the pitch as uh, Octavio Guzman has gotten some pretty good minutes. They've brought Justin Braun back. They put David Estrada back at times along with Rodrigo Lopez and Ivan Mirkovic. Cameron Owasik. Finding Gissy right back to Owasa. Atlas able to recover. And Mascarenas sends it out of play. Gissy's looking pretty good tonight. You know, usually he's utilizing his speed, get up and down the flanks, and kind of a guy that comes in the 70th, 80th minute. But you know what? Technically, he looks pretty good tonight. Connecting really well on passes, finding some good uh, overlaps by Caceres into that space. Like to see that. Like to see that continue for the rest of the night. So I think that's been the one challenge I think for Gissy is he's not really able to connect that well with a lot of the guys. He is able to really, you know, get on his bike and get up and down the flanks, but he likes to see him be able to connect a little bit better, which he's done a good job here tonight and retain possession. That's a good job there. That's a tough ball in from Daly. So the, the, for his first touch, he's been able to trap it a little bit better too. Just technically, you see his growth from a year ago, Kevin. We we saw him last year, just almost like a gazelle, just running, and then we just we'd see him go, and you didn't know really he where one, he might end up. But this year's been much different. Right, he had one speed last year, and that was fast. And you need to have change of pace. That one speed, it works, you know, in certain levels, works in high school, works in college. But when you get to the next level, you got to have the change of pace and know when to utilize that change of pace. And that's something that I guess he, I think, is going to have to learn. As he's still a young fella, but he needs to learn that the sooner the better. And I think that's really what will make him separate his, uh, take his game to the next level, Rob. 14 matches a season ago. He's already in his ninth for this 2015 season. Nice move here. Von Vahey looking to send across. Good ball. Cameron Wassa loses it. Just not able to collect himself and get a shot on goal. Bon Vahey does a really good job. Pineda comes up, steps, commits himself. Bon Vahey, cheeky enough to get around him. It's offsides here. And now the whistle finally goes. You know, they're arguing, Alice is arguing there that he wasn't involved in the play, which he's got an argument, to be honest. Jakovic wants to ensure, but a good run, but bought a gun again. It is a club Atlas debut in 2012, but here it is. Good look here. Nice. Bay showing some skill, but I tell you what, Iwasa's got to do better here. You need to have a better first touch and get a strike off if you can. As his first touch maybe got away from him just a little, a little bit heavy, unable to, unable to pull the trigger. We've been impressed with Bombay. He played U.S. Open Cup, very quick, not a guy who's going to keep that ball in the back half back third and he's going to move it forward and get that attacking third and try to make something happen for the republic yeah, he's in a tough spot though playing by behind a guy like Kalenta right now who's just been absolutely playing very very well all season unlucky i think baragon a little bit late and they'll pick it up and shake it off but bonvey he another look right here coming in late bonvey just unfortunate i think the position that he's playing here with the republic how deep we are at that right backer. Not even how deep we are, but how well Clemente is playing. There's no way Clemente is not going to be on the pitch right now unless he's been injured. And he stayed pretty healthy. He had the, in the ankle injury for a, a game or two. And he's hoping to be back. You know, he's, he said full conditioning. He's been out there uh, training finally. And he hoped to be ready for Los Angeles. But whether or not he starts or gets in that match will be, uh, I guess, up to Coach Precky and Coach Precky's uh, final match with the Sacramento Republic. 
Lombehi playing a Filipino club in 2014. Just a fifth division German club in 2013. Talking about a guy who's not given up. Went to see us. You Northridge. His parents originally from Argentina. Play a midfield position as well. But they've liked him along that right back position here in these friendlies and U.S. Open Cup matches. Good ball there by Moda Galvin. Right to Bombay's foot. Makes it easy for him. And that's been his strength. The one thing they said from Moda Galvin is his ball served out of the backfield. He hasn't had a lot of chances to utilize it. Tonight would be a place to showcase what he can do. It's tied at one. Tommy Stewart. Luis Fernando Teas. Each with goals tonight. Sacramento a season ago, a Max Alvarez goal heading to the locker room, but ended up losing that match two to one. When we looked at a season ago in July, Kevin, this team was still trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure it, trying to poke one through. A good step up from Godinez. Well done by Alvarez picking up that second ball again. But even going into those that that West Brom series, the two games, the ball gets away from. Zev a little bit, but going into that series with, with uh, West Brom, first game played okay, second. On the left side. And they'll keep it here for a throw in. And they had a lot of injuries last year too, Kevin. We didn't realize that. Here's a hip check and a foul. And good chance from Baragon, but will not get the play. And it, it's the one thing where Mickey Daly is typically the player doing that. So for him to get the hip check is the kind of a roll reversal here as we get another. Yeah, this is never fun when you're not expecting it. Going to strike the ball, and there you go. You never did that as a player, right? Ever. Kevin? Ever. I don't, think I, I don't think I ever fouled anybody, actually, Rob. <laughs> of course Every not. referee was wrong. Ever, yes, right. And I'm sure I told them they were wrong as well. So as a player, I know you played several years in MLS and for Houston and Portland and several others in New York. Friendlies, how did you look at them? Was it an opportunity? Was it just fun to play against a squad you maybe had never had a chance to play with or ever again? Yeah, they're always enjoyable, you know, depending on what sort of uh, uh, standings I was with the coach at that, po at that point. You know, if, it, if I wasn't, you know, in the starting 11, I loved it. It's an opportunity to play, go out and show the coach, give me, you know, tell him and make sure that my argument to him is, is backed up and, and valid with a good performance but also they're really enjoyable you know we play club, we play league games and you start thinking about what's important so you know it was, uh, depending on where I was with my club team was I starting was I on the bench I was on the bench I absolutely loved it but if I was starting it was always kind of one of those where you think like you know oh boy here we go it's going to be a tough week of work sure. I put in a couple shifts um, but but definitely overall good experiences we had a couple fun ones in Portland played against Club America but overall, good experiences and, and uh, fun, fun memories, actually. Speaking of Club America, it's with Gustavo Matosas, who was the manager a season ago and did not win the title, and so he was promptly fired and found his way into Guadalajara. Here's another chance. Caballero off to the left side. Baragon, excuse me, looking for Hernandez. Hernandez not able to do something with it and poking it up and trying to see if we can get Gissy to stay on side. Not a good enough run from Tommy Stewart as he was too slow to let the ball circle back toward. Yeah, I'm, think, I'm thinking about last way. Bon Vahey's looking for Gissy there. And that's another kind of interesting thing with players. When you know you got a guy with pace like Gissy, all you want to do is play in this space. And you got to learn also, the players got to learn when to play Gissy, when, when you see him actually wanting to utilize that, and when you see him wanting to go in that situation. I don't think he's really necessarily ready for it. I think as a coach, you're going to, you're going to want to ask a guy like Gissy to always be ready to go and use his pace, but it just doesn't work that way. And that's a good example right there. There's another giveaway in the middle of the field here. Here's Salinas. Bad giveaway from the Republic. Tough ball into Zeb. I mean, what's Zeb supposed to do with that? Her name, uh, Gonzalez just pays him a pretty much a, a, a more than a hospital ball. It's a, it's a deadly ball. What do, you, what, do you, what do you expect a guy like Zeb to do in that situation? Gonzalez, I think he needs to be a, a little bit more thoughtful with that decision, playing the ball into Zeb's feet there. Looking for Pineda here. Pineda steps right back up. Zeb stepping in front of the lane. Daily will go back, but as we'll talk about that midseason transaction, they will be having uh, Coach Brecky exit and Paul Buckle taking over next week. And the foul is called here on Salinas, but we'll get Kevin Goldthwaite's thought and really what this team does moving forward. And we'll also have a halftime interview with Jose Reneso. 
is uh, Reynoso is a, a longtime Spanish broadcaster, and we'll talk to him a little bit about Liga MX. We'll talk about the Republic, and we'll talk about the future he might have with the Sacramento Republic. That's all coming up at the break here tonight. We are tied at one here alongside Kevin Goldthwait. I'm Rob McAllister. As Teus and Stewart, each with goals tonight. Tommy with a beautiful header and a serve from Max Alvarez. And Tommy Stewart picking up his fifth goal on the season. Meanwhile, the third assist for Max Alvarez. A lot of pressure from Vodagon tonight. His number 28 has been all over the pitch. And him and Caballero, even Vignon a little bit, have both uh, been guys that caused that back four some fits. Here's Gabe Gonzalez. Stays on his feet, gets into the middle of the pitch, and he'll just take a shot on goal, sends it high and up off the tarf. And sometimes, Kevin, you just got to take a shot at it. Yeah, you know, I think that's what Daly's kind of shouting on right now. Like, hey, be patient here. I think you got Caceres out wide on the left. Tommy Stewart, the run, too. Yeah, maybe give it to Iwasa there, but, you know, he decides to have a crack there. Sails 20 yards over the goal. Like to see maybe a little bit more patience in that situation, but you know, you can't fault the guy sometimes for having a shot. Gabe Gonzalez, Orange County Blues, 24 matches, a teammate of Patrick McLean a year ago down in Southern California. And my, my only argument in that case, Rob, is if, if you're gonna have a crack from 30 35 yards out, you better hit it on target, otherwise, you open yourself up for guys like Mickey Daly. And I, and I, I would find myself often in that position of Mickey Daly of shouting at a center midfielder or, or somebody. You know, with a really ambitious shot that goes sailing wide. Like, you know, just be patient because, you know, two seconds coming, they're going to be coming down my throat, and I'm going to have to deal with that. Right. Here's Bonvehi trying to find a wasp. So Tommy Stewart was making a run as well. Sweeping it up is Vigon. On Vigon all over the pitch as well tonight. Particularly in their set pieces, but he's made some nice defensive plays. Gabe Gissy cutting through the lane. Takes a hard shoulder from Pineda. And will pick up the foul of the youngster, bounces back up. And for Gabe Gissy, he's got some size to him. Six foot plus, and he's got some girth. He can take a hit like that. Yeah, poor ball like Cannon in there. Gissy comes in. Ooh. Shoulder to shoulder. I mean, he's got an argument, Maybe. but looked pretty. I, I think it looked worse than it really was. I would have gone down, yeah. For sure. There's no way I would have stayed up. You would still be down, Rob. I would still be down. You'd have to continue on without me. Working the ball here, Caceres trying to find it back. Crowd getting into it, stomping their feet here at Bonnie Field tonight. Gabe Gonzalez, Gonzalez looking to strike it. One touch too many. Atlas looking to counter. That's the counterattack ball there. You see what Gonzalez is getting back though. Realizes he turns the ball over. He's got to be the one to get back. Cross served in, looking for a header right into the arms of Dominic Djokovic. Luis Neri Caballero with a shot on goal. Caballero does a great job, elevates for the ball. But that all starts with Gonzalez. He's got a great overlapping run. Served in the box, Caballero does well, gets up, elevates, gets himself on top of the ball, heads it down. Djokovic does a good job there. Here's a run. Is Cam is Max Alvarez on side? He was. Alan Lopez comes out just outside the penalty area. Good late run, delayed run there by, by Alvarez. Tommy Stu gets his head up and finds him just a bit, a bit heavy. And Lopez does a really good job quick off his line, is able to clear it. It's a good decision by Lopez there. A second too late, and this could be trouble. Good ball by Zev right there. On Vehi, quickly back to Gonzalez. Here's Alvarez. Alvarez looking for a teammate. Alvarez dancing with it. Dribbles back. Finds Gonzalez right back to Alvarez. Gissy trying to separate himself. Alvarez goes down, and it'll be a throw in for the Republic. Set piece for Republic. Are they calling a foul? On the ground. Looks like he's pointing to the ground. Don't know exactly what happened. Looked like Alvarez might have just lost his footing, but they'll take it. It's going to be right on the line there. This, this I'd want to see an outswing, outswinger, Rob, with this wind coming out. Well, Daly's walking up to the line. You'll see You'll see this. This is not, I mean, typically you want to have a bit of bend on this thing or maybe a little bit more bend than you typically would want to drive a ball. And with the wind coming out, it's just going to get hung up and be a pretty straight line. So Alvarez has to be 
cognizant of that and make sure that this ball, the, the, the approach and the angle, the line he takes, is a little bit sharper than he normally would. Alvarez strikes it well. Still in play. Bigon able to come back for it. Gabe Gissy will track. Alvarez, Alvarez just missed that. Gabe Gabe stays on his feet. Now he's on the right side. A sliding tackle and a... But it might have been a big shot for the Republic. Ivan Pineda comes up big. Mickey Daly in a little bit of trouble. His teammates have got to get back. All you can do there. Daly knows it. But needs to get back. You got Bon Bay. They got to organize here. They're going again. Salinas. Try to get it back to Salinas. Well done by Let's Sev. Go. Wins the ball. First touch and is able to create a counterattack. Good job. You see on the right side of Alvarez. Stewart overlapping. Here's Tommy right behind him. Too slow. It's okay. Here comes Caceres. Caceres right back to Tommy Stu. Except Tau believe. The defense is the 43rd minute here saying, you know what, let's keep it on this side of the field for a little bit longer. Sometimes you get these new lineups, Kevin. The players get a little impatient, trying to do too much too quickly. Giveaway by Daly. Daly thought Alvarez was making a run. Yeah, I think Alvarez is, or Daly was trying to find Gissy. Alvarez thought it was to him. That's where you need communication right there. Young guy like Gissy might be keeping his mouth shut just a little bit too much. I believe. Here's Zeb. Number 16. Valparaiso. How about Zeb? Just the midfielder goes down hard and will pick up the foul. As a midfielder, helped lead his team to the first top 25 ranking the school had ever had. Kevin, I mean, here's a player that stature and size you don't see it, but he makes a big impact. He's had some nice matches here for Sacramento. Here's Moda Galvin back to Zeb. Dave Gonzalez parking through and just a, looking for a run. Great. Stays on side. Bon Vehi out of the corner. Bon Vehi making a move. Poked away. Nice play coming up from Hernandez. It's a great ball. That's a good foul. That's fine. That's that's a decent foul. The crowd's not going to like it, but it slows everything down. But great ball there by Moda Galvin. And I tell you what, Bon Vehi does. Uh, his first touch is too poor. It, it, you got to get the ball in the deck and get it get it rolling. He's got it bouncing in front of him. I want to see him take one touch and serve the ball in the box, and he tries to take on, I think, Pineda. His half, the halftime whistle is blown. So we will head to the locker room, tied at one. Tommy Stewart, Luis Fernando Tejas, each with a goal here tonight on a windy evening in the capital city. Stay tuned. We'll talk more about Coach Precky. Get thoughts from Kevin Goldthwaite. Also, an interview with... Jose Reynoso, that's coming up at the break. Don't miss it. Just like all moms, I'm always concerned about my children's well-being. But sometimes they get sick. Sometimes they get hurt. That's why I'm so grateful we have children's hospitals. Because when any child needs a miracle, they'll do everything in their power to make one happen. With our support. Please join me in giving sick and injured children every chance to get better. Put your money where the miracles are. Please join me in supporting UC Davis Children's Hospital. Hi, I'm Brian Castingay of Cooney Chevrolet. Do you know what time it is? It's Cooney time. It's Cooney time. Cooney, Cooney time. time. It is Cooney time. And right now, it's 0% financing for 60 months on all 2015 Chevy Cruises, Malibus, Camaros, and Traverses. Chevy, find new roads. When it's time for you, there's no better time than Cooney time. Come in and experience Cooney time at Cooney Chevrolet. Do you know what time it is? It's Cooney time. Cooney Chevrolet, your time well spent. I pitch for the San Francisco Giants, but my most important job is being a dad. I take my hijos for regular checkups to stay healthy, but over one million undocumented Californians cannot see a doctor. People are in pain, even dying from treatable diseases. No matter who you are or where you were born, health care is a basic human right. If we make health care real for everyone who calls California home, then we'll hit a home run. And that's what's up.
Morning, folks. Welcome to Jiffy Lube. Hi. How can we help you today? I think I'm due for an oil change. Great. Well, why don't you come with me and we'll get you all set up. All right. Thank you. And would you folks care for any bottled water or coffee while you wait? Sure. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Great. We've actually got a special promotion going on right now. If you take a shot on goal and you make it, you could actually win free oil changes for life. How does that all sound? All right. Let's do it. Head on in and we'll get you all scored away. All right. We're ready for you. And here she comes. She has a chance to win oil changes for life from Jiffy Lube. It's half here at Bonnie Field. It's tied at one. Tommy Stewart with a goal and assist from Max Alvarez. And Atlas able to counter back. But, Kevin, uh, the news here today has not been about the game here tonight at all. It really has been about the man who we know as Precky, who officially announced today that he will no longer be the head coach of the Sacramento Republic after Saturday's match against Los Angeles. I know it was a shock to a lot of people. Here's a guy who won in the championship in his very first season and a chance here today at this press conference for him to now move on. And we don't know exactly where he's headed. All that we know is he's headed to the United Kingdom in what capacity. But as a player, it, a big shock for a lot of these guys. Yeah, a big shock. You come in last season, you think with what uh, the coach of the year with Precky, with what he did last year, coming in, pretty good season so far right now. Everyone's kind of getting used to things. Everything's working out well. And then this announcement today, kind of a shock to everyone. But you know what? Precky's got such a good opportunity coming up. It's kind of hard and, uh, for him to, for, for the Republic staff and office to think that they're going to be the ones blocking that from happening. It's a, it's a really, really exciting opportunity. And I tell you what, Everyone wishes the best. This isn't going to be the last we see of Precky. We'll still see Precky back in Sacramento, and hopefully when he does come back, everyone, you know, uh, uh, greets him with open arms. We talked to him in Portland during the MLS All-Star Game, and there was a time that he said he's had several opportunities to leave Sacramento, and he said he'd never been happier. So for him today, this obviously was a very big decision and a, a struggling uh, mindset where you go back and forth and say, is this the right move or is it the wrong move? Uh, you, uh, you get to be determined. We got the new coach, Paul Buckle, coming in, so it's going to be a completely new slate for these players. And th th the big thing is, is I think it's it's a great opportunity for Brecky and a great opportunity for the Republic to keep moving forward and really establish their brand and their dominance nationally to let everyone know that, you know, it's not just Precky, but we got a really good club here. We got a good group top to bottom, great front office, and a good opportunity to show the rest of the world that we do. And I know they were talking long term and hopefully taking Precky along with this club to MLS. That will not happen uh, with Precky, but they said it's not a goodbye. It's a we'll see you soon. So that doesn't mean Precky is gone forever. He could be back at some capacity and some time because we know how much he's loved it here in Sacramento. We'll hear more from Precky coming up on our broadcast on CBS 13 at 8 o'clock on Saturday. Do not miss that as we'll talk a lot more about Coach Precky. But make sure you stay tuned here. Coming after the break, we're going to talk to Jose Reynoso. He is a, a big-time broadcaster who has covered a lot of Mexican Premier League matches. We'll get his thoughts on tonight's game as well as what's more to come here for Sacramento and their involvement. Flame and Fire Chujascaria Brazilian Steakhouse. Picanha Top Sirloin. Lamb Chops. Pork Ribs. Still hungry? Flip to green. Good for now? Flip to red. Flame and Fire Chujascaria Brazilian Steakhouse. Highway 65 in Pleasant Grove in Roseville. Our Western Health Advantage is access to health care close by. Our advantage is doctors we know and trust. Our advantage is a lot of flexibility and choices. My advantage is a plan that I can afford, so I can afford other things. From doctors and specialists you know and trust to affordable plans and flexibility, Western Health Advantage has an advantage that's perfect for you. Advantage, Smith Family. Advantage, Allie and Dad. Western Health Advantage. Advantage, you. When Martin Cooper invented the mobile phone in 1973... Hello? Yes, it's Marty. Guess what we did? Connectivity took a mighty leap forward. Staying connected is also the monster way. That's why the 2015 Mazda 3 uses cutting-edge technology. Hey. Hi. Headed home? On my way. To keep you seamlessly connected to the world around you and the road beneath you. This is the 2015 Mazda 3. What do you drive? Guys, I got the jerseys. Oh, nice. yeah. 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 El Nino. Aquí. Spray Dan. Oh, yeah. Don Ovan. I think that's me. You guy. It's 40 bucks. Can you cover that? I'll send it to you right now. Done. Okay, got it. 
So hat trick Rick, he's the best player on our team. You get the ball, you give it to him. Right. Rick. Ooh. On your phone, online, on the go. Wells Fargo makes it easy to get banking done. All right, John, you're on. Nope, just kidding. Get the most mouthwatering experience at Flame and Fire Churrascaria Brazilian Steakhouse. Picanha top sirloin, lamb chops, pork ribs. Still hungry? Flip to green. Good for now? Flip to red. Flame and Fire Churrascaria Brazilian Steakhouse, Highway 65 in Pleasant Grove in Roseville. And welcome back to Bonnie Field. Rob McAllister, Kevin Goldthwait, and now we have a special guest with us as well. Jose Reynoso, who has spent uh, many years broadcasting all kinds of games, whether it be baseball, basketball, soccer, but I know that uh, this is one of your favorite sports. And uh, let's get your synopsis here first on the, the first half of play here, 45 minutes in. Well, it's a good game. Uh, Atlas, we knew coming in, was going to be a very quick team. Uh, Gustavo Matosa says coming to Atlas has put together a very quick team, very fast team, and a very technical team. So we knew that that was going to be a difficult time for uh, the Republic, the speed. And I think Republic, even blame with their reserves, they've been able to step up. They've got an early goal going. I mean, when you look at a team who's sort of using this as a friendly warm-up to try to get going to this season, but for the Republic, it's kind of a different mindset. The guys are trying to win some jobs here. Well, exactly, and, and, and it's good. And it's the same thing with the, with the Atlas team. The Mexican teams right now are doing their preseason, so there's guys out there who are also buying for jobs. So, uh, you know, they call them friendlies, but there's no friendly thing. I'm nothing friendly about them. So yeah, we've had a, quite a few uh, Mexican clubs coming into Sacramento as of late. What, what does it mean for the community here in Sacramento to have these great Liga MX clubs coming up here, playing some friendlies, and really kind of expanding their, bra their brand into the Sacramento market? Well, you know what? It's very important uh, for the teams to come over here, first of all, because they get an opportunity to come closer to, the, to their fans, who many of them don't have the opportunity to go back to watch them in Mexico. So it's a great opportunity for them to come and to build build on that fan base here yeah and, and very well received as a community i mean uh what kind of support do you see what kind of activity do you see you talked about the uh, the, the the game last night and what happened at the airport i mean can you talk a little bit about that well it's just that you know uh you're referring to the chivas game uh chivas as everybody knows is one of mexico's uh, most favored and beloved teams uh the airport was crazy over 2500 people were there to receive them on sunday night uh these guys are rock stars. They can't go anywhere without crowds following them. Uh, so they like that. They, 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 they really like that, and they enjoy that when they come over here. And they want to do their best because they say, we're here to give our best to these people. Uh, and I think it's great for their brands, and a great, it's great for the city of Sacramento, for, for, for our citizens and our people here in Sacramento to see the beautiful game played for their favorite clubs, with their favorite clubs here in Sacramento. Well, you know what's interesting? That Sacramento is hosting, what, six international friendlies in, what, two weeks? So Absolutely. That's... Uh, that's historic. It's a big, big number, and I think nationally one of the biggest numbers in terms of how many international friendlies are played here in Sacramento. So it's just a great number, and it shows what sort of support Sacramento has for the for the game. So if you don't have a chance to come see a, a match in the next few weeks, you, you've got to work your schedule you a little better. You've never seen yeah. an international <laughs> match just because uh, you must have been out of town for a couple of weeks. So I know that uh, you spent a lot of time here in Sacramento. Did you expect – the city to embrace the Republic like they have. I know you're here with the Sacramento Knights in, in that term, but did you yeah. expect this? You know, I remember when we used to broadcast the Sacramento Knights, the indoor team, uh, the crowds that would uh, go out to the Arco Arena to follow them. And I had no doubt, uh, just by the friendlies that we've had here in the past with the Liga MX teams, I had no doubt that, that the soccer fans would come out. You know, it, it, to me it was, it's not a, Maybe I'm the only one that wasn't surprised, but I didn't didn't, didn't scare me. I don't know if we're breaking news or not, but I know, Jose, if we move on to MLS, or say when we move on to MLS, we, we, you would then become our Spanish television broadcaster. That's what I understand, yes. Look at that. So That's great. Uh, yeah, I like we that. We can't wait when for you to join the family. When we become MLS. <laughs> exactly, when we become MLS. Jose Reynoso, we'll have more coming up. Stats for you as well. We appreciate you stopping by. and. Come by anytime, especially on games like this. We could use some help on the pronunciations well, a little we bit. Got, uh, we got Pachuca <laughs> coming up, which is uh, another great team uh, playing Sunderland. So that'll, that'll be That should cool. be fun. That's coming up Friday night next week. Get tickets for that. Plenty of tickets available for a lot of these matches here. I know I think Newcastle sold out in Los Angeles, but uh, plenty of other single tickets still available. Coming up after the break, we'll have your halftime stats and we'll more highlights as well. A great evening here at Bonnie Field. We are tied at one apiece. Working with Bonnie.
always given me the flexibility to have time off, to be a dad, to be a husband. They make family a priority in the company. I have worked here at Bonnie for nine years. Everyone in the office treats each other with respect. I really feel like my voice is heard here. Working with Bonnie, I'm able to offer customer solutions for energy savings, healthier indoor air, the simple things that we do for other people that makes them smile makes my day. Morning, folks. Welcome to Jiffy Lube. Hi. How can we help you today? I think I'm due for an oil change. Great. Well, why don't you come with me and we'll get you all set up. All right. Thank you. And would you folks care for any bottled water or coffee while you wait? Sure. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah. Great. We've actually got a special promotion going on right now. If you take a shot on goal and you make it, you could actually win three oil changes for life. How does that all sound? All right. Let's do it. Head on in and we'll get you all scored away. All right. We're ready for you. And here she comes. She has a chance to win oil changes for life from Jiffy Lube. Guys, I got the jerseys. Oh, El Nino. Aquí. Ready? Spray Dan. Oh, yeah. Don Ovan. I think that's me. You guy. It's 40 bucks. Can you cover that? I'll send it to you right now. Done. OK, got it. So Hattrick Rick, he's the best player on our team. You get the ball, you give it to him. Great. Rick. On your phone, online, on the go. Wells Fargo makes it easy to get banking done. All right, Don, you're on. No, just kidding. When we created the Silverado Rally Edition, we figured, why stop there? These four new Silverado Special Editions are just the beginning. From this year's fastest growing full-size truck brand, Chevy Silverado. Or choose this Silverado All-Star with a total value of $8,000 when you finance through select lenders. See your Northern California Chevy dealer. Welcome back to the capital of California. We are tied at one, and here is how it happened in the 13th minute, a set piece. Max Alvarez serving a great ball. Tommy Stewart, header into the net, past Alan Lopez. But not too much later, we would see the surging Atlas FC come back strong, and it would be Luis Fernando Teas we would tie things up. And so now we're back out here in the bill. We have a couple of substitutions and we'll get to those when we can here. But uh, we do have a couple of uh, typical starters coming back in as well. And there's a couple of them, including the center back, Nemanja Vukovic. So interesting, some changes here for both sides. And looks like it, we'll have some of the F FC side as well. So both teams making changes here. Kevin, I know that you wanted to see Really, how's these young guys were able to step up? They got a good 45 in. Now you got another group coming in for Sacramento. Same for them. I mean, they, they're playing a different place. Score is tied. Really, no reason to play any other way different. Yeah, I mean, figure uh, formation-wise, and, and the same things are being being told to these guys as we're told to the, the starting 11. But it's gonna be interesting. We got some substitutions with uh, a, a trialis coming in. You got uh, you know Vukovic coming in. Playing it alongside Moda Galvan, you got out on the left side Joaquin Rivas, which definitely not his natural position. And like I said, the trialist. So um, uh, going to be an interesting half to see how this all uh, gels together and comes together. But you know what? A tall, tall task to, to deal with. You know, a club like like Atlas here tonight, and especially for these trialists, first time really playing with the club tonight. And how about Adnan Gabelic? Here's a player that uh, we've seen. He's shown. He had a hat trick in the Open Cup matches as well. And Adnan type of player he's just gonna go one way and that is hard each and every time we saw him with some pretty good strikes as well how about this four games started he got five goals I mean that's a pretty good stat he has played 13 overall but again another young player number 13 keep your eye on him here in the second half yeah he's a thoroughbred up top you should see I mean running with the ball he's quicker than most guys without the ball um, I think he just hides a little bit too much want to see him find the ball as much as he can Get himself involved early, start con connecting and combining up top. And the whistle blows from Joseph Dickerson. And we'll flip sides. So now Atlas will head to the south end of the field. Sacramento will head north. Gabelich. Trialist. Number 61 is Sean Houston. See what he can do. Yeah, looks like Houston will be playing in the middle of the field with Gonzalez. 
Gabe Gonzalez stays on. I think Barrera is going to be technically playing outside, but similar to like what Roro does, he'll find himself in the middle of the park often, allowing for a guy like Rivas to get himself involved in the attack up and down the flanks. Caballero. Nemanja Vukovic in for Mickey Daly. It's the two starting center backs. And Gonzalez out to the right side. Trips up and hits the turf and going down is Kalimala. It's Kalimala. Getting a couple of minutes. He hasn't yet hit the century mark, but he's a player that runs fast, runs well. A lot of energy. A lot of energy from K Kalima Law. Almost want to see him kind of harness that a little bit better. But can't complain a guy, can't fault the guy for trying in, those, in, in, in any situation he gets himself involved in. Stefano Binovo also in there. Wearing number 62 for Sacramento. There's Houston. He's got Kabelic. He's going to cut it right. Going to try to dump it off. A chance for the right side. Coming up. That's Kalima lost. Pill and play near the byline. Working it in. Kalim does all the hard work Kalima Law does. Needs to get himself. Serve the ball in the box. You work, you track it down. You get control of it. Trying to do just a little bit too much. Want to see him serve the ball in the box. Get his, get, get his other guys involved. Were you pretty happy the way that first 11 play here for Sacramento tonight against a club that you could say is at a higher clearly division wise and players that may not be all the first team players but the team that's played together a little bit more. I think it was a pretty admirable first half we competed you know I look at the final score I think the stats were probably similar in terms of, uh, of shots on goal uh, so yeah I think a very admirable performance by these guys could it have been better yes would we've liked it to have been better yes but still I think a, a, a pretty good performance overall for the first half for the starting 11 that played. Atlas out wide, Hernandez trying to dump it off. The public will cut it off. Samota Galvin, Jakubek, and Gabe Gonzalez, the only three to remain in for Sacramento. Rodolfo Salinas. Baragon, Baragon takes a shot, sends it high and out of play. Wind still pretty strong here, Rob. We're gonna have the benefit of playing with it for the second half. Still decides it elects to play short, see how we can play out. Dave Gonzalez, quick flick. I mean, that's something right, you know, that little flick right there, you don't do that in your own third, Rob. I mean, that's something you do in the final third. You gotta be more, look at look at the pace. Watch here's, the pace here. Here's Adnan, Gabelic. Running away from people with the ball. Gabelic trying to dump it off to a teammate. Looking for Sean Houston. That's unheard of, Rob, to see that sort of pace with the ball. How do you harness that? How can he, how can Gabelich figure out a way to utilize that pace and that skill more often? Because he's just an absolute horse up top. He's a big, big guy, long strides. I mean, he's a thoroughbred. Here's the Croatian forward. Hits the six skin, three. Hits I mean, he's the got skin the power. off the ball with both yeah. feet. He tagged the net a couple of times in the U.S. Open Cup. He played the second division in Croatia in 2014. Didn't get a lot of minutes. Here's Joaquin Rivas. Danny Barrera has a good foot as well. Here's Adnan Gabelic looking for some space. Tracked by Vigon. Low cross. Set behind here. Sean Houston takes a swipe at it. Sent good, away. Good effort there. I think a good look for Sean Houston to maybe do a little bit more. Want to see him maybe attack that ball a little better rather than wait for it. If he attacks it, I don't think Atlas gets a chance to block it. Elects to have it, ha have the ball, wait for the ball for it to come to him. Still finds himself in a good position. Gets himself involved. Manu Vukovic. Sends cross field. Sacramento, here's Sean Houston. Gabelich, now at his feet. Gabelich, he might turn on this one. 
He's waiting for it, trying to work his way into the box, just overpowering the defense of Mascarenas. Low cross. Looking for Bonomo. That's what you want to see from Gabelch. You want to see him take out an initiative. I want to see him get mad out there. I want to see him kind of, you know, really realize it's a good strike here. Once again, Gonzalez from distance. But you want to see a guy like Adnan, he needs to get, I want to see him get mad. Look, at, I mean, look at the pace. Runs away from defenders with the ball. Good effort there. Defensively. That's nice, Houston's, nice play. Houston's trailing, kind of that trailing run. But I want to see him get mad. I want to see him really kind of, you know, realize that he's more skilled than a lot of these guys out here and, and utilize. I, I, I feel like the confidence isn't fully there with him, and it should be. He's got all the skill, all the talent that one can ask for. Now he just needs to get that bite, that little, the, the, that aggressiveness, that bite, that competitiveness that you see those, uh, you know, your Michael Jordan type guys have that just know that they're better and are going to do everything, you know, claw tooth and nail to make sure that they prove that. And that's the one piece that might be missing from a guy like Adnan. This ball will sail out of play. But he's got all the other tools in his toolbox, all the other skills in his locker. Good substitution looks like a bit of a line change coming in for. That's the one thing with friendlies. There is it is a wave of changes. There's no doubt about that. So we'll we'll get you caught up. Looks like we'll have five wave, substitutions made here. The wave of anxious uh, the wave of subs creates a wave of anxiousness and apprehension <laughs> up here in the booth as and we're starting to shuffle these lineups around. And then we're trying to find out the place because it's unlike typical matches where we'll see there's a very set place. You'll get a lot of direction on who's coming where. Well, friendlies, the rules just seem to be a lot looser in terms of how you're coming in, who's coming where, and then positions they play are not always very typical even for the republic so we'll get that out story for you for the republic we have joaquin rivas nemenya vukovic alfonso Matagalvin uh, in the back along with what appears to still be another republic player we'll so get that it's not it's no longer mateus bonvehi it's kalim Allah. and then matt sheldon gabe gonzalez sean houston danny barrera adnan gabelich and Bonomo, so a bunch of changes for Sacramento as well. And we'll get the Atlas SCs here in a moment as well. Republic back on the push. Making a run. It's taking shot. Just a poor cross there, but good effort. You like to see that from your right back, getting up, getting himself, taking a defender on, trying to get a cross in. Cal Berkeley. Matt Sheldon playing out on the right. Like to see that aggressiveness from the right back. Get up the flank. Get himself involved. Here's Gabelich. Gabelich is tripped up just outside the box. Won't see a whistle. Now on the run. Here comes Sacramento. Or excuse me, here comes Atlas FC. Trying to shug his way, trying to make it look. He's out of with a good run for Atlas. Danny Barrera. Barrera with a great foot as well. He's got some great touch. Love seeing him come in and try to make a difference or two. Pokes it away. Right back from Houston. Sacramento now on the push. Directing traffic is Barrera. At the feet. Of Gabelich. Gabelich trying to split the defense. Will pick up a foul just outside the box. And I think uh, we might see Danny Barrera with a free kick. Yeah, we got, you see Barrera even talking to Adnan. You got to go. He's telling him, go. Take that ball. Take the space. Use your pace. No need to cut back in. Does a good job, though. Able to kind of, I think maybe gets bailed out a little bit to get that call there. Set piece on top of the box. But, but Barrera's got it right. I mean, use the skill set you have. Get on your bike. Go take somebody on and get a crack on target. There's a good look for Sacramento here. Crowd into it here at Bonnie Field. Kaleem Ala next to him. Kaleem Ala and Barrera discussing on what's going to happen here. Probably going to be Barrera here. He's got the win to deal with. Here's Barrera, sends it in low! 
just missed the far post. Catches Lopez, Alan Lopez, a little wrong footed. Lopez probably thinks this is going to be try to tuck it over the wall. See, he's watching, I watched Lopez's first step to the left and then you realize it's coming the other way. Little bit of a slip, probably had it covered, but I, I like that look from Barrera. Trying to catch Lopez a little bit wrong footed, does a pretty good job there. Just got to hit target. Menya Vukovic, the defender of the year, getting some minutes here in the second half of play. The left back position is Joaquin Rivas. He's listed as a forward, but he, we have seen him in the midfield. We've seen him as a defender this year, have not seen him up top. A lot of quality strikers for Sacramento. And this team, if you look at the roster, here's a breakthrough. Chance for the Atlas FC, a saving. Tackle by Nemanja Vukovic. One more opportunity and finally draws the foul, making a strong one with Harizala. Well done by Vukovic. Four turnover in the back. Vukovic comes in, just times it perfectly, and is able to come back in here. So Tabo was there first, and Harizala. Try to go for a second chance, and Arizala getting very aggressive up top. Another giveaway. That was incredible, Rob. Did he just score? Did he just strike that? That was unbelievable. A goal, it looked like from this vantage point, it sailed far right. No one even moved in Sacramento. Now down by a goal, two to one. Jakubek didn't even move on that one, Rob. Looks like just an absolute strike. Brilliant with, with his right foot. See the ball cut back. Caballero takes a touch, gets his head up. It was Beloy and then just strikes it. Caballero with the goal. Unbelievable. Jakubek's got no chance on that thing. It looked like it's probably struck with the right foot. A little bit of slice spin on it. I'm going to call it up in the upper, his upper right hand corner. Jakubek's upper left hand corner didn't even move, Rob. Just stood there and watched Half the thing go in the there. Uh, just a, a brilliant strike. As we got another line change coming in for Atlas. But you know what? Someone needs to get Caballero's head down quicker. And also, at this point, the back four has got to realize we probably shouldn't be playing out of the back in this position, in this situation. And we get a good look here as Caballero strikes it. Jacoba can't even right in the upper corner. Wow. 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 Right in the upper corner. But, you know, maybe it's time to, to abandon the playing out of the back idea as there's been two or three turnovers in the last five minutes that have really put the Republic under pressure. We got the win at her back. Let's just knock the ball up, win the second balls, and play in that half, in, in, in Atlas's half, or at least in their in their back third. But something needs to change here, as right now it's probably going to be. We got a, a a lot of momentum going in Atlas's way. You know, weather the storm here and try to retain possession as best as you can. Defensively, Matt Sheldon comes up to make the stop. BC Fusion. Train with uh, the Sacramento as our practice player. So he's been around the club. Atlas FC again. Another chance on goal. This one squirked right near that short post. Great save. Bend it in. Nice save by Dominic Jakubek. Another shot from great, Franco great. Aizala. Great save by Jakubek. Typically in this situation, you're probably thinking far post or Jakubek's thinking far post. Gets the near post covered well enough. Does a good job. Gets down to his left. Makes the save and actually holds onto the ball. Great save by Dom. Atlas FC again. Caballero looking to find a teammate going down in the box. Will not get the call. And Dominic Jakubek near the byline able to pick it up. And he's a slowly rolling. Get it back to Vukovic. Here's Houston. Good balance to his right. No, no one's moving right now. No one wants the ball, Rob. It seems to be the situation at the time of the game where it's, uh, it's, it's you have the ball, you deal with the problem. No, you have the ball, you deal with the problem. Danny Barrera. Barrera into the middle of the park. Barrera looking for a teammate as he tried to send it open over Kalima the top. Law, good ball in there by Danny Barrera. Good look. Kalima Law making the right run in the back post. First national-born Pakistani player to play here in the States. 
Well done by Adnan. And he'll pick up a corner kick here. I mean, it feels like it's a bit of a shell shock right now for the Republic. Everyone's kind of concerned about, it, uh, it seems like they're concerned that the floodgates might be opening. But no, I mean, like, there's still plenty of time here. We got at least 30 minutes left. Start moving the ball. When we do have the ball, continue to work as we got some pushing and shoving in the box. Referee's going to go in there. Bet you it's Vukovic involved in that, Rob. And yes. <laughs> Pretty typical. Here's Danny Barrera from the corner. Vukovic has a nose for trouble in, on set pieces, especially corner kicks. Sent in low. Doesn't clear the first one. A little and needed, a problem. Need a better ball there by Barrera. And that's a counterattack ball, too. Look at this. They got six guys going forward. Republic have two. Great Here's the ball. Counter on the run. Here comes Areola. Areola. Another shot on goal from... The Alice FC and just a tad bit behind from Ari Zala, and it could not find, put it on target, and Atlas FC wasting a good chance here to make it three to one. That's just poor all around for the Republic. You gotta have, but you gotta get back and you gotta keep your shape. Look, there's two guys on the back post. And, and just poor, poor performance there by Atlas, which is fortunate for Republic. They need to do better with that situation. At least get something on target as you have plenty of time, plenty of options. Another turnover in the final third, or, or in our defensive third here. Dominic Jaka back in trouble again. You know, I don't want to... Uh, Adnan Gabelic is going to pick up the foul. Good run from Kalim Ala. Kalim Ala working. Ariola up to the challenge does a good job 1v1 one, one, one one defending wins the ball and retains possession Sacramento pace here no in foul don't again. foul don't foul and a foul in the box and now a penalty kick coming up is uh, that is not a great one from Alfonso Matagalvin you'll see Zarate tech this PK hero picked up the foul. I'm not sure if he'll actually take it. It looks like it possibly could be Arizala. Uh, Mata Galvin's got to know better there. Well, it's not too late to secure your single match tickets for Republic. Matches throughout the rest of the season. Buy them online. Ticket master or call 916-307-6100. Reserve discounted tickets for your group today. We get another look at it here. Mota Galvin behind, behind, just too quick, just just from behind. No question about it. Penalty. You called it there, Kevin. There, you could just see it coming. That's the second time we see Mota Galvin late to a ball. That time it cost him big. See Dom make a save here, though, Rob. Here's a shot on goal. A little stutter oh. step, and it goes right down the heart. He got a piece of it, but Atlas FC now makes it 3-1. to one. And for the second straight year, they've scored two goals in the second half. That one was a big one. Yeah, Dom's going to want that one. He's going to lose some sleep over it tonight. Does a good job, kind of falls down to his right, uses his feet to try to maybe the uh, the trailing for that ball coming down the middle. We'll get another good look at it right here as Dom goes down to his right. And Medina just laced it, just got it off his left shin there. Terrible penalty, Rob. <laughs> Terrible penalty. Dom's definitely going to be losing sleep over that one. Should have, should have been able to save it. He knows it's just a tough, tough ball for him, actually. So not a very common save for a goalkeeper to make. That's not something you really practice, something coming down to your feet like that. But um, goal nonetheless. Atlas FC still putting the pressure on. Danny Barrera stalling. The field has almost collapsed in the center, and Atlas FC has taken full advantage of this second wave of substitutions. Uh, you're talking about a, a different level of energy. This wave has absolutely brought that wave of energy and been sharp, technically. Good run there. Houston looking up top. Sheldon. Sheldon comes up way out of the box with the goalkeeper. Benomo tries to make a play, and now a whistle is blown. 
Yeah, looks like someone maybe collided heads there. Here's another look at it, and uh, coming up for the worst of the wear. Get a look at the penalty Arizala. here. Arizala. Dominic, take a step. Good job. Uh, just probably hit a little bit too hard for Dom to really time that to get his foot on it. But he's going to want that one back. And restart the play. Here we are at Bonnie Field tonight. Caballero has been very good tonight. He has a goal. Made it two to one. And Juan Carlos Medina, the midfielder, got down at Jacobek to bite right, went right down the heart. Here's Danny Barrera trying to get the offense back. Pushing and shoving, won't get the fall. And here's Atlas turning hard. Caballero to the right side. This Caballero. Stutters for a second, left shot with a left foot. Dominic Djokovic quickly back out. Yeah, probably not the right decision there by Caballero. A couple teammates streaking up with him. Gabe Gonzalez. Stefano Bonomo. From Hillsborough, California. Went to Cal Berkeley. 17 appearances, 12 goals, a team leading 12 goals, five assists as well. He was an all pack 12 first team members. Got some great size, 6'2, 170. Here's Adnan Gabella still fighting hard, trying to inch the Republic back into this one. But the energy here at Public Field has gone quiet. Adnan Gabella is trying to squeak through. Not able to do it. Breaking it up is Felipe Beloa. Cabo and Caballero up top. Ball through. Zarate. It has definitely changed the pace here. These substitutions come in and and you just don't see the crisp passes that probably guys don't play. Here's Adnan Gabelic again. A one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalkeeper. Takes a shot on goal. A good look was being chased from behind. A great save from the goalkeeper, Miguel Pinto. That's the run you like to see. And now oh, a foul is called and a yellow card is thrown. Good look here. Adnan does a really good job. Gets a shot off on target. And while we have the replay, it looks like Barrera took took a bit of a tough. Tombo may have got a, 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 an elbow as well. So Barrera during that uh, break that we were sharing, the highlight we were showing you, Barrera took one. So a yellow card was given. But you like that non Gabella. It's another good run from him. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can ask for. You'd like to see him finish that thing. But, I mean, at the end of the day, he's got a lot of pressure on him. A lot of people coming at him, trying to block something, trying to push him off. Does a good job to keep that separation. He's got a good look here at the replay. Barrera trying to do something here. Doing the Precky cut. Now he's got, looks like he got hit in the face. We got hit right there at the ankles where he got chopped down. The, the, the famous Precky chop being displayed here, Barrera. So Danny Barrera in. Bonomo Gonzalez, Houston. Kalemala Gabelic. The midfield in the forward position for Sacramento. Not able to get a good look here. And Atlas running out with it. We'll get it back and another substitution coming in. There's clearly not a limit of five, Kevin. Makes it all the more difficult. As it's uh, Vergesio, Gonzalo, typically a forward. Looks like he might come in as a attacking midfielder here. Atlas FC shares Guadalajara, Mexico with Chivas, a much more popular club. And it's interesting because Rodrigo Lopez has the whistle blown there. Also Octavio Guzman 
And even David Estrada all having lived in Mexico at some point in time in their young career. Either rooting for Atlas or Chivas. And even if you look at Rodrigo Lopez, you know, his father and brother, big time fans. He's a big time Chivas fan though. And then obviously continued his career in the United States at Houston Dynamo Academy. But for Octavio and Roro and Estrada, and here's the three guys who I think they would love to play against Alice, the teams that they grew up watching. Absolutely. They, that's what, you know, these opportunities provide that sort of challenge for those guys. Be fun for them to get out and get a run against them. The bigger fish to fry, Rob, on Saturday. That's LA Galaxy, the rival, the rivalry game. Galaxy 2, and Sacramento's owned that series 6 1 to 1. And they're going to go to the pocket. And Danny Barrera is then uh, hit with a yellow card. Yeah, Atlas coaching staff's up, and they are not happy. I don't think there's any intent here from Barrera. Barrera's just a little bit late in this situation. So he comes here, just absolutely just stands on. Laboa. Laboa's right ankle. The cold spray coming out. I don't think there's any intent there. I think Pereira's just late. There's no reason to be upset about it. So they will walk him off. Manager Gustavo Matosas. Having a word with side official Omar Muro. It looks like he'll be okay and come back in. One thing we haven't talked about with Atlas, Kevin, is they just have a very successful youth academy. I mean, they've been able to really showcase some top-notch players, including the uh, Jose Corona, Rafael Marquez, both making a World Cup appearances for the Mexican national teams. Here's Gabe Gonzalez. And you wonder why maybe it hasn't translated from the youth academy really all the way up to Atlas. I mean, they've... They're not a bottom feeder team, but they really haven't had the success their crosstown rival has. Yeah, you know, maybe as things are progressing here, I think they had a pretty good season last year, finishing fourth. Get these young guys into the system now. Get them contributing. Set piece here for Sacramento. Barrera. Good ball served in a header. Nemanja Vukovic and Miguel Pinto. Able to grab the save. So Sacramento not able to cut this lead here. Great, dis great distribution too by Pinto. Look at him now in the final, in this attacking third, coming off that goalkeeper. Pinto having the ball in his hands. Here's a shot on goal. Just send it high over the top. 32 years of old. Pinto has been with Atlas since 2011. See, good look here. The set piece coming in from Barrera. Vukovic fighting in there. Does a good job. Tries to redirect it. It's just perfect there. There's also a Chilean national team members made 21 appearances. And here, one of the better goalkeepers. University of Dad de Chile. Another good run. Sacramento is going to see another goal hit the net. Djokovic came out early. Defense collapsing. As Sheldon was not able to. Looks Get like back in time, and again, Atlas FC has scored their fourth goal of the evening. Yeah, just Atlas too quick going forward. Sheldon out on the right side isn't able to tuck in quick enough. Tell you what, it's unfortunate for Dom. Makes a really good initial save to get a good look right now. Dominic does really well. Comes out, makes himself big, gets his arm in. Unfortunately, Sheldon's not there to maybe cover that back post. It looks like a simple tapping on that follow-up. Is that Medina again? It's Christian Tabo. So Christian Tabo now on the board. And it's four to one. Atlas. At this point, Rob, it's just it's simply it's too easy. It's too, too easy for these guys for Atlas to come in it, and, it, and I think it all falls down on that back four. The back four needs to be better, more cohesive at this point in time, and just communicate better. I mean, at this point, it's about pride, Rob. And, and, and for, for, for anything, 
you can't put your goalkeeper in these situations where he's facing one-on-one after one-on-one after penalty. Um, it comes down to pride. So, you know, it kind of man up, down three goals here. How many more do you want to concede? It is like we're watching completely two different matches in as the soon first as, 45. As soon as that wave of subs came in, Rob, it was an absolute different energy boost for Atlas. And See if Gabelich can get out on his horse here. Make it difficult. See, no one's pressing with him there too, Rob. It, 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 and that's just, I think that's laziness too. If he's gonna, if Adnan's going to make that run by himself and no one else is going to compete and challenge with him, I mean, you got to have your other guys. you got to have, maybe, maybe it's Kalima Law, trialist being... Benimono, I mean, he's got to go. If you, you can't leave your guy, your teammate out on an island like that. And that was always the frustrating thing for me when you see one of your guys busting their butt, trying to get forward, put pressure, and he's the only one doing it. I mean, you've only played for 20 or 30 minutes here tonight. And it's a beautiful night. There's no reason to be no, too got, hot or too you, cold. It's a perfect you, soccer weather. You can't leave your, your, your teammate out to dry like that. And it's a minor, minor thing here tonight, but I think that just kind of, you know, uh, a characteristic that we're seeing a little bit too much of right now and kind of the theme for the night almost or at least for the last 25 minutes atlas again looking to attack they're in the penalty area dangerous play dumping it off again trying to turn look for a shot on goal he scoops it down low and no, 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 with no, a good shot. no one wants to make a challenge Four, five, six touches in your own box, and there's probably six Republic players around him not wanting to make a challenge. Republic will host summer skills camps throughout the summer. Three four day camps are a great opportunity for kids. All abilities to learn goalkeeping, striking, midfield, and defender type skills. Pre registration is required. Go to the Republic website for more information there. This is also a good character test, too, Rob, for these guys for the Republic. You learn a lot in these games about your players. Zvukovic is keeping this on side. Oh, well done there by Sheldon again. By Sheldon tracking back, showing some pace there. But you learn a lot of character about guys and see where, you know, do they have any fight in them? Are they going to give up? Are they going to roll over and die? Or are they going to go out there and fight? I feel like in these situations, you learn a lot about a lot of guys. You learn a lot about their character. The ball with a nice move. Turn set across, and it is blocked by Joaquin Rivas. Good job by Rivas. Tough task for him tonight, coming and play left back. And there was a drop off from the substitution that you saw from Atlas. I don't. It's hard to gauge whether it's better, but definitely the pace picked up. Energy. I mean, it's a completely different le uh, energy level from these guys coming in. There's Arate. With a chance at a corner kick here as we move into the 79th minute. Just send a little too high and over the top. And Stefano Bonomo will watch it sail out of play. And so a goal kick for Dominic Jakubek. Jakubek on the season. Now get up nine goals. And you, you got to feel for Dom here because it's a goalkeeper. These really aren't his fault. No, oh, he's hung out to dry a few times. Bonomo making a nice run. That's what that's what makes you know a, a position like Dominic's that, that backup goalkeeper. You're getting these games as Moto Galvin's got to get back, get your shoulders right. A shot on goal. He, that Dom's just getting peppered right now. I mean, as a, as a player. Uh, I don't know. As a defender myself, I never want to see that happen to my guy, my my goalkeeper, the guy I'm playing in front of. It's kind of a different relationship I think the back four has with their goalkeeper, especially the center backs. The Bellage from Barrera. And when, you're, and when your guy's getting shelled, you kind of got a feel for him. And you know what? It's not fair for Dom to be getting shelled like it is right now. Sacramento putting the pressure on, but unable to get a good look on goal. Dom, and, you, and it's hard because how do you judge his type of performance in a night like this? He made some good saves, but conceded four goals, which is never a good feeling for a goalkeeper. And I, I can't remember a, a match last season where the Republic gave up four goals in a match. I 
Dallas FC still putting on the pressure here. About 10 minutes left to play here. Soft hitter. Still in the box. And here you go. They're getting too many second and third time opportunities here. That's just effort. Nice move inside. A little dink over the top. It just sailed up wide. And that's when you know you need to put your foot into somebody. I tell you what, as soon as you get a guy like Arizala trying to chip your goalkeeper from, from 8 to 10 yards out, I tell you what, if I'm out there, Rob, I hate to say this, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to put my foot through somebody and let it be known that that's just not that's not that's not cool. That's not good. That, I mean, it's just kind of, um, I don't know, I'm a bit old school, I guess. Um, but if someone's doing that to my club, doing that to my team, I'm going to take a bit of offense to that. And this is where you, i got to say it again. It's a character check for these guys. You know, who's going to be mature enough? Who's going to be the one that steps up and really does something about this? Whether it's collecting the ball, starting to spray it, getting your guys together, rallying the troops, so to speak. But character test. It's hard to judge the club here because you have your starters not in tonight. And then really kind of the second wave guys, we have Tommy Stewart and Max Alvarez connecting on the lone goal tonight. You got a lot of trialists they in here tonight, good. but it doesn't matter. I mean, at the end of the day, you're, put, you're, you're putting on the shirt, right? You're putting on the shirt. You're out here. You got people paying money to come out here and watch you play. And we're not talking about 90 minutes. These guys, I mean, there's a couple guys out there playing 90 minutes, but those guys are guys that uh, would love to play 90 minutes. The rest of you, you're only asking for a 45-minute shift. Nothing crazy. Atlas, very, very, very good club. Very skilled players. And here's a chance. But at the to day, get better. But at, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how, how how well you're playing, how well the team's playing against you. The only thing you can dictate and the easiest thing you can dictate is how hard you're going to work. And that's 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 my my whole uh, philosophy on that. In a situation like this, believe me, I've been in situations like that where I, I you know, lose games four, five, six, one, whatever it is. And um, I, I don't know. I never always felt like that's the one thing that I could control and that's the one thing that you know you can go to bed that night thinking you know what well at least shoot you know hats off to these guys great great club great quality but you know what I worked my tail off I'm tired and I could sleep easy knowing that so it's my piece I guess look at off the soapbox now here Rob <laughs> sorry no I you know I agree and I, I think it's hard because it's not the goals are scored it's the way they've been scored yes I completely agree the way the goals have been scored, there's there's um, uh, uh, too many people not tracking their runners, too many people out of shape, not doing the basics. When this is the, a chance for you, so when they try to do too much, and you end up leaving gaps, and you're leaving your teammates behind. Yeah, and I think that's also you know like uh, I hate to go back to the trialists every time, but the, these guys are coming out here trying to. Um, you only got 45 minutes to make an impression, and that's not much time really. So we get a, a, a caution for. Delay a game here, or encroachment. Zarate. Zarate. 23 year old midfielder. But you know what? If I'm a guy like Moto Galvin or, or Vukovic in the back, I don't know. I, I like to see those guys be a little bit more more upset. I feel like I'm, I'm more upset than they are up here right There's now. There's a little dink in. This almost fell in the net, but Miguel Pinto was right there. Cooler evening here from a year ago, 110 degrees. And so this was part of one of those matches where they said, you know, in 2015, we're going to start these games later. Great track there. Pick it up. Now Atlas still has a chance to make a play. And, you know, here's Atlas. They could kind of say, you know, we only have six minutes to go. These guys are playing like it's the first 20 minutes. Love that by Barrera, by the way. You see a little feistiness in him over there. Off the right side here, Laboa. Laboa. Laboa is going to take a shot on goal. They'll get across it, and instead, here's another opportunity. And off the face, and then it's going to be a handball from Alfonso Montegolvin. That's a tough, tough call in a 4 to 1 game, Rob. Little Galvin sacrifices his body. Maybe his arm was a little bit. Maybe his arm is a little bit extended here, but this is the once again you got the, the discretion of the referee. Get a good look here, but there's no way that there should be that much time on the ball for the service. Moto Galvan goes down. Hand is definitely, definitely yeah. up. But a four to one game in the 85th minute of a friendly, I don't know. Uh, you well, know. it, it is an uh, unnatural position. He was sliding. Clearly, it was out and away from his body, so you're not going to get that call. We'll get the Republic. See, Dom, come on, make a save, buddy. 
Dominic Djokovic. Allow just 1.27 goals a game a season ago. Here's the strike, makes the save. Good for Dom, good save, Dom. Zarate couldn't convert, and the fans like it. See, there's a guy stepping up, showing some character, Rob, in my book. And now Gabelic. Gabelic, at least looking to try to take a shot on goal, and defense collapses on top of him. And here comes a counter from Atlas. A little bit of energy there from, from Dom's save. But that's the sort of thing I think a veteran guy like Dom, a uh, vocal leader for the team. Glove from the Liga M.A. Eki. From here, Mexican League team, Atlas FC, a much better club than we saw a season ago. And a 2-1 to one victory in 2014. Here in 2015, a sizable lead and three goals coming here in the second half of play. And a different type of match altogether. It was a close one. Republic score on the board first on a set piece. Had a couple of their good looks. Atlas owned the possession percentage in that first half, but clearly the play much more even than what we saw here in the second half of play as we wind down the final few moments of this one. Joaquin Rivas try to slow down. The right side here goes Arizala again. Dumps it off near the byline. A short cross. And this will be a goal kick here as Zarate. Once again, here's Dominic Jakubek out on an island. Zarate not a went very to good, his right. Not a very good penalty, but Dom goes the right way, reads it, goes down to his left, makes a good save on it. For how things have unraveled here, you, you'd like to end on that save. If you can keep him scoreless for that, it'll leave you with something to go home positive about. Joaquin Rivas with the throw in. And here's Rivas who with the Kitsap Pumas, a PDL club in 2014. Just graduated from Las Vegas. Very young player. The high school Gatorade player of the year in Nevada. So when we talk deep, we're talking a deep talented team here, Kevin, but as you, you stated here, it is not about the talent here. It's just about playing a bit hard and, and going as hard and as smart as you can. Here's Danny Brer with some fancy footwork. And now Gabalic. Great save by Pinto. Miguel Pinto showing the youngster how it's done. About 10 years age of difference. Great work there by Barrera. Winning the ball back to a little fancy footwork. Flicks it back. Sees Adnan right behind him, eyes in the back of his head. Adnan takes his touch and has a crack. Happy to see that from a guy like Adnan. And does, I mean. But isn't it nice to see Gabelich? I mean, every time he, he gets his lasers on it, you feel like something's going to happen. Yeah, no, absolutely. He does a good job there. Kind of, I think that's the right decision. Try to curl that thing far post. But Pinto's up to the task and makes a really good save diving to his left. Kalima Law to the right side. Here's a cross in. Sheldon get himself involved in the attack. And now Sheldon will retreat, playing the right back position. Sacramento looking to pick up their 10th win on Saturday against Los Angeles. They have 30 points. They're currently tied for first with Colorado in the Western Division. 30 points, a win would give them 33. And they've played three more matches than Colorado. We'll face Colorado in early August. Ball squeaked through. Another chance for Atlas. Cross set too far and wide, but another good look for the visitors from Guadalajara, Mexico. Dump it off. Here's Rivas. So two minutes of extra time added here at Bonnie Field. Arizala will toy with it. Dump it off to Beloy. So 
Felipe Beloy actually playing his first season with Atlas FC. Turned pro at 18 years of age. 34 now, Panama City. Just to see where he fits in in this upcoming season. Looks like a beast back there, Rob. Yeah, he's got some size on him, there's no doubt about it. Panama national team, 82 caps. Played all over too, Colombia, Brazil, now Mexico. If you're a player, there's definitely no shortage of chances for someone to find a few minutes in the league all across the world. Got a minute yet to play here. The body field. Republic. Bearing some kind of miracle. Will fall here. Atlas trying to put one more on the board. Skirting one through. Dominic Jakubek is going to be tested, but it won't be. An opportunity for Atlas as they are offside. Uh, looks like just a few steps offsides. Here's a second chance at it. Good look here. See where it is. Ooh, it's pretty close, Rob, to being on and offside. Um, I like the benefit of the doubt in that situation. We talked about it a minute ago. And Brejecio called for offside. 30 old from Argentina. So when you look at that first team, there was a lot of guys typically under the age of 25, 26. This second unit that's come in has all been about 26 and older. And they will walk off with a victory after coming in at the break. Atlas scores three in the final 45 to take this one four to one. So let's look what we've got coming up. You don't want to miss this one. Saturday, a great match. LA Galaxy 2 on the CBS 13. Kevin Goldthwait and I will have the call for you there. Make sure you tune in for that game. It is sold out. So if you don't have tickets, the only way you can watch is on CBS 13 or, of course, on our YouTube stream as well. Great matches as well with Sunderland, Newcastle. And then we'll back to USL play in August. So do not miss out here on the Republic matches coming up as they make a run toward the playoffs here. Let's look at your final highlights here from Bonnie Field tonight. The first goal, it would be the only goal for Sacramento tonight. It was a good one. I want to thank all of our crew from behind the scenes. I want to thank Jose Renesso from checking out, hanging out with us at halftime. Of course, I want to thank Atlas FC for making the trip up as well. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Republic lose this one 4-1. to one. Be safe. We'll see you on Saturday. Coach Precky's final match as the head coach of your Sacramento Republic. That's coming up on Saturday. Good night, everybody. We appreciate you tuning in. Hope you have a great rest of the week. Guys, I got the jerseys. Yeah. El Nino. Aquí. Spray Dan. Oh, yeah. Don Ovan. I think that's me. You guy. It's 40 bucks. Can you cover that? I'll send it to you right now. Done. Okay, got it. So Hattrick Rick, he's the best player on our team. You get the ball, you give it to him. Great. Rick. Oh. On your phone, online, on the go. Wells Fargo makes it easy to get banking done. All right, Don, you're on. Nope, just kidding. I pitch for the San Francisco Giants, but my most important job is being a dad. I take mis hijos for regular checkups to stay healthy, but over one million undocumented Californians cannot see a doctor. People are in pain, even dying from treatable diseases no matter who you are or where you were born, healthcare is a basic human right. If we make healthcare real for everyone who calls California home, then we'll hit a home run. And that's what's up. Morning, folks. Welcome to Jiffy Lube. Hi. How can we help you today? I think I'm due for an oil change. Great. Well, why don't you come with me and we'll get you all set up. All right. Thank you. And would you folks care for any bottled water or coffee while you wait? Sure. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Great. We've actually got a special promotion going on right now. If you take a shot on goal and you make it, you could actually win three oil changes for life. How does that all sound? All right. Let's do it. Head on in and we'll get you all scored away. All right. We're ready for you. And here she comes. She has a chance to win oil changes for life from Jiffy Lube. Indomitable, like the trees that surround us, our roots run deep, our foundation strong. This is a game played to the sound of chants, to the sound of anthems. This game is played to the sound of glory. We are Sacramento. 
indomitable we stand. For the Republic we stand.